My grandfather grew up in a small Russian village where people referred to each other only by first name. Shmuel, the tailor. Igor, the Cossack. Bernie, the no-goodnik. Now, in these declining days of the global village, I find history repeating itself with a vengeance. On the phone, in the restaurant, over a counter, on the street, I can't have a single business transaction without being flung into a state of instant intimacy. Hi, Tony. I'm Bob, your waiter. Is everything okay? Hi, Tony. This is Bill from Morgan Guarantee. Want to buy some bonds? Hi, Tony. This is Betty from the Committee for Sam for Congress. Can we count on your vote? Excuse me, Bob, Bill, Betty, Sam. Do I know you? Have we met? Granted, a little unfounded familiarity may be what's called for in some situations. Well, Gus, it's time for the electric chair. May be a more comforting tone for all concerned than this way to your electrocution, Mr. Walensky. Still, this rush toward rapport, which seems to grow more pronounced the less we have to say or sell, does tend to erode the few shreds of authority we have left. Take the military, for instance. Can you imagine the following scenario? All right, boys, over the top. Uh, sorry, Bob, I think I'll stay here in the foxhole. And now listen here, Bill, I'm your commanding officer. I know that, Bob, but somehow I just feel we should talk this out. Or law enforcement. Freeze, lefty. The whole SWAT team's here. Sal, Robin, Arthur, Ed, Jimmy, and Colleen. You cooperate, you get out of here alive. Heck, the judge might even go easy on you. This week, it's Al. In most cases, I'd look to the White House to set the proper tone. But George is on a first-name basis with everyone. He even calls Hussein Saddam. And as a nom de plume, his wife uses Millie, the family dog, who doesn't have a last name to begin with. I suppose there's nothing to do but take a lead from Millie and just heal and get used to the idea of the latest folksy reports about the doings of Helmut in Germany and Mikhail in Russia, and of course our old and faithful pal, Fidel. I must admit, though, I may have to draw the line at the Vatican. Somehow I just can't believe the proper reply to thank you, Holy Father, should be, please, call me Carol.